This video is going to be a continuation of the series that I'm currently doing, showing you how to use ChatGPT or just AI tools in general to rank first on Google. This video is going to be about writing outlines. We're going to be using Code Interpreter again because I think it does this really, really well and it does something very special for us. If you want to continue watching these videos, the last kind of five or six videos on my channel up to here, or maybe even this one here, are all about writing long form good content that will rank on Google. So feel free to check out any of these videos on my channel if you are new here. They will all help you a lot. This prompt is something a little bit different. This is something that I was working on today and it's quite long, so I won't bother reading it out. If you want to read it, you can find it in the description anyway. The only thing you need to change is this right here where it says topic and I'm going to write black tie attire for men and then I'm just going to hit enter right here. This will immediately start writing the outline for me. So I added a few sections to this prompt and I think it works really, really well. So we have a target audience. We have a goals for the article. We have an article title. We have an outline, which is pretty comprehensive, but we could definitely add a bit more here. We have frequently asked questions. People also ask glossary terms. So I'm going to say, can you add a few more points for each subheading? And then I'm going to press enter and then it will just add a few more points. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using playground for this. You can use chat GPT. I have shown you in previous videos how to use chat GPT for this, but I just prefer to use the playground. So that's what I'm going to be using. I do have access to GPT four as well. Okay. So we now put everything into the system prompt right here, and then we need our internal links and things. So I'm going to grab those quickly. So I've been working on this prompt as well, which basically puts all of my products into ChatGPT automatically. Now this isn't really perfect for black tie attire because of a lot of these items such as sneakers, you could not wear to a black tie attire event, but this is just an example. So we're going to leave it as it is, but basically this is the prompt with the, uh, with the system outline prompt, which I will give you all of this information. And we're going to say, please write the first three subheadings of this article. Uh, let's say headings, actually not subheadings. And then we're going to press submit and hopefully this is going to do everything we want. So already I can see it says introduction with two stars here. So we're just going to see if the next one is going to use H2. And if it's not, we're going to press cancel and say, please use H2 and H3 headers. It's doing the internal links as you can see, which is perfect. Okay. So it's not doing H2. Can you use H2 and H3 headers to split up the article? please. And then submit again. This time it should say hashtag hashtag introduction. Yes. Perfect. I swear chat GPT is sarcastic. Sometimes do not write HT, just use the formatting. God, so annoying. Honestly, I feel like it's just being, it's just doing it on purpose to annoy me. So while that's loading, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into my custom instructions video, which is coming tomorrow. This should say streetwear. This is what I put inside my custom instructions. It works incredibly well, but for now I'm just making this video to show you how to make an outline and then this will go in the custom instructions tomorrow. But basically uh, this works also outside of custom instructions. And what I've done is I've shown it how to create an internal link. Then I've given it the brand and then the things that we sell. So all it has to do is write kit on dash sneakers at the end of collections and it will create the internal link that I want it to create, which is super, super nice. So I'm gonna just keep saying, write the next part of the article. And we just keep doing this until it's all done. While that's going as well, let's open Markdown to HTML so that we can start editing. So something we can already start to do is we can start to look at the content and see if we like how it's shaping up. I really, really like the outline. It's very, very, in, de in, de in depth, which is exactly what I wanted. So this is when you want to write super long form content to see what you can rank for. This is probably the best way to do it as of now. Okay. Again, while that's doing that, what we're going to do here is we're going to say, please give me a visualization of some of this data, at least three points. This is now going to use the outline that we already have alongside chat GPT code interpreter, and it will visualize some of the data. 
which we can then use to create something truly unique. The point of this video is to show you how to make some super, super unique content. Okay, so this is still going, so I'm gonna say keep going. Please remember lists and tables, at least a few. And press submit. <clears throat> So this is something that happens a lot. This model's maximum content length is 8192. However, you requested 8422. So I just need to reduce the maximum length here a little bit and then it will keep going. That's a really, really handy thing to know if you didn't know that. So we can see that we now have some nice visualizations as well. And what I suggest you do is you actually save these images and you use them as you want in your post. So this could be a popular black tie styles in history png for example so now if we open this you'll see that we have a png file with good seo that can maybe help us rank on google this one in particular is not that good this one here is much better silk is the most common choice for um for black tie attire so this is perfect so we would save this and black tie for different body shapes yeah we could have this as well that's fine so yeah, this is just some extra information that I always like to include. I love to include diagrams and also I always embed products inside the article. Okay, so we're only on the, we're literally on the sixth point out of 12 points, 13 points, 14 points. By the way, this is with ChatGPT, uh, I think it's 32K, maybe it's 8K, I'm not really sure, ChatGPT whatever K. So I do have a longer maximum length than some people might have. Um, but again, you can do this with ChatGPT. I'm just doing it with the playground because I prefer the playground. So let's have a look how much content we actually have. Let's just press cancel here. And otherwise this is literally gonna take me forever to write this entire article or to watch this entire article being written. So I'll do enter twice, control V, enter twice, control V. Remember, this is only part way through the article, okay? And we already have, it's gonna be a lot of words, I can tell already, docs.new. We will control V this. Yeah, it's six pages and we're only halfway through. So we've currently got 1,655 words. So if you're looking for a way to write really, really long in-depth articles that have a lot of unique content on that are covering big keywords, this is the flow that I would recommend. First, you create the outline with code interpreter enabled. Then you ask it to create images and you download the charts and images and things. Then you use Playground or ChatGPT itself to write the article. I will leave both prompts in uh, this, this uh, document here. I'll actually leave a link to the uh, Google document this time instead of just putting it as the description. So we'll say prompt one. That should be the other way around, actually. So this should be prompt, well, it should still be prompt two. Okay, so that is prompt one and prompt two. I'll leave this in the description. This works really, really well. You can see the content is basically never ending. It's gonna write maybe 3,500, 4,000 words for me, all with internal links, all with lists, all with tables, with unique, graph images, which will all help you rank on Google. And that's it. This is my workflow for writing in-depth informational articles that are for keywords that have a lot of searches per month. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands every month. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.